For 30 years, I didn't know how to go downtown Philadelphia. I stopped at 34th and Spruce and home. I didn't know. Even now, when I go downtown, I get lost because there's no time. It's a lot of work and passion to get it done. We set the stage by uh, measuring all the bodily functions and how we could control them. Now it's a question of refining the application of that knowledge. I guess uh, everybody uh, feels they live in exciting times, but uh, I truly do believe this for neonatology. Uh, we've completed our first 50 years, uh, and we're moving into to the next 50 years. Uh, and I think we're on the, uh, the verge of uh, making great discoveries, um, using data and information much more wisely, and uh, changing the way we provide care for these critically ill infants. Um, our goal or our benchmark of you know, best practice and how good were we in terms of our care shifted from just well, not only purely survival but really looking at their quality of care. At that time we thought we knew best. Um, I think the era today is really looking at uh, perhaps the baby knows best and I think the technologies allowed us to give more and more of that work back to the baby and allowed the clinician to really sit back and, and be better at monitoring the baby and how are things going with, with the changes that the baby's undergoing. I think there's some key components that I believe in that make an NICU nurse at SickKids very special. And it's the blend of the art of healthcare and the intuitive practice to blend with the science, which is the knowledge, the technology, the physiology. These two major components really allow them to be as compassionate and caring as they can, and also to be experts in the care that they provide to the patients and families. What can we do better with what we already know? rather than trying to find the next new magic bullet. So that's the principle of this whole effort that we're doing. We started by looking at different hospitals in Canada to see who does well in what, and what can we learn from people who do better than us in these particular areas. Now, there's no such thing as the best hospital. Everybody's good at some things and not so good at other things. So by doing that, we were actually able to demonstrate, for example, that when we studied 12 hospitals and got them to work together, Altogether, they were able to reduce infection rates by 44% and chronic lung disease by 15%. You can never sit back and sort of say, well, yeah, things are great because there is always room to do things better.